debut. Votto on the ground, back to Ray, could be two. To Amarista for one, double play. 1-6-3 as Phillips goes to third. And the Ray family and friends quite pleased. Hey, Norris can start, he can relieve. I think it's a good addition for this Padre staff. And with the illness, that's career strikeout number one for Colin Ray. Freezes Jay Bruce for the first out here in the top of the second. How sweet would that be? Goes up and into left center field for a base hit. How about Colin Ray? He battles Lorenzen and singles to lead off the second, his first big league hit. Ross Stripling, or what's going through his mind right now? I watched him warm up, and not a lot of balls were going where A.J. is setting up, so I'm sure the butterflies are there. Tap back to the mound. Stripling flips to Gonzalez. Run it up the third baseline, testing Stripling, who throws low, and he gets more defensive help. Wow. So Trevor Brown, the first strikeout victim, and it comes on that curve. And he strikes out Kane with a fastball. Something hard this time, and it's right at Chase Utley to finish the inning. And the curveball hits softly back to him. One out. James Mouton, opening day 94. Out to left center field and deep. Ellsbury way back. Leaping in. Tyler White goes off home run number one as a major leaguer for Tyler White. 2 0 Houston. What a thrill. He is going to be a thrill to watch. He's quickly answering questions about how he might fare as a hitter in the big leagues. Now this is, this is great stuff. The splitter stayed up, found some plate, but you still have to do. He comes in, one and one on Drury. Infield still in for L.A. Brandon gets it in the air, high and deep to left center field, and there it goes. Brandon Drury, his first big league homer, is a three-run shot, and it's eight nothing Diamondbacks. Intimidated to play in this ballpark. That ball was smoked. You saw them throw the souvenir back. If that is indeed the actual ball. Andy Green has it down the left field line. Let's see if we can do some detective work. Oftentimes, fans and bleachers will have spare. I know all the guys here around here, so it's making me more, more, more comfortable here. A fly ball deep right center field. Goodbye. No Marmazara up on the green hill. His third major league hit in three at bats. This one leaves the ballpark. Well, maybe the most telling thing he just said to Emily was, I know what I've got. In other words, I know I can hit. I'm not putting any pressure on myself. And for those of oh, those of us that haven't seen much of him other than in spring training, I think that's the one thing that comes across is the way he carries himself and the confidence that he shows for a 20, 20 year old. I mean, Here's Steven Matz. Wasn't that long ago he was trick or treating. He's 24 years old. And the second round pick. Runner goes. Struck him out. No throw. And they're going to say interference and call him both out. Zobras crossed the plate after the swing and the miss. Well, you didn't get an argument from Zobras. Now that could be incidental co contact. You got to allow that catch to the lane, but I think he's falling back away from the throw. One down. Strikeout number two. Two out. Side corner 
Zobris doesn't agree. One out. Strikeout number four. For the 96 Yankees. That strike three on the inside corner again. Into right. Granderson back to grab it. Two to one. As the Royals get on the board, Strand. That ball is hammered. High and deep to right field. Puig is watching it. Goodbye. And that is called big league power right there. Joey Gallo turning around. Clayton Kershaw with his fifth home run of the year. The Rangers lead it 3 0. Well, we said earlier, Joey's going to get his hacks. He's not going to get cheated. And if he catches up to one, he's going to hit it in a long way. And he caught up to one right there. Cut down. You know, one year is like 34, 35% of his outs for striking. Oh, deep left field. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. The legend grows larger. Field, they have a big kaboom sign out on the scoreboard, and that's what it was. Gerardo Parr again, one of the first guys out of the dugout. You know, my first question for Trevor later you ever hit five home runs in four games at any level? Just like that, it's a one run game. And Trevor's story. He's not going to be able to walk down Broadway here in uh, Denver. One and two. Molina sitting inside. A drive to the gap. Let's watch him run. Oh. Forget where the ball went. Let's watch him run. Molina, a one out triple, and Byron Buxton hearing it from both. The Twins fans and the Cardinal fans who appreciate great baseball. And Byron Buxton has his first major league hit. He had 12 triples in Triple A, and he got his first big league hit. And of course, it's a triple. I tell you what, I was watching him run. He tripped almost. He almost tripped twice. He almost ran into Reynolds <laughs> at first, and then he almost spun out rounding second. <laughs> And a high fly ball into deep right field. If it's fair, it's gone. It is fair. Seeger hits it out. And the Dodgers lead 4 to 1. Seeger got what looked like a little bit of a breaking ball up. He hit it right down the line just inside.